Today we're going to use PowerScripts from C Prime to add some post functions in the workflow that do some automatic assignments. And what we're trying to do today is you start with an issue assigned to a developer. At a certain point, that issue gets assigned to the tester. The idea is now when the tester approves or closes the ticket, it gets assigned back to the developer that created the code. And we're going to accomplish that with some workflow post functions. So I'm going to go into my workflow and so going from open to start progress is um, we'll say when we make the automatic assignment to the tester so we'll add a post function make it a sill post function And we're just going to call it auto assign. Okay. So what I like to do is store the tester information, not in the script itself, but perhaps in a project role or some other means. So my project role is already created and I'm already in that project role. So I'm going to paste this function here. It's called users in role. It will grab all the users or single user in that project role. Project is test that we're looking at and the role that I created is called product development tester. And as we learned in another video, you have to make sure um, it's case sensitive. So you have to make sure it's uh, as exactly as it appears in the um, project roles page in, in the admin section. So we can't assign to everybody in the testers um, project role and you can put more than one. So we'll just pick the first person person in the um, in the project role or in, in the array so let's check that and we'll publish the draft All right, let's create a new ticket. Let's call sign test. All right, so now when I hit start progress, it became assigned to me. So now what we want to do is create another workflow function that will assign it back to the developer when we, let's say, hit close issue. So I'm just going to add another post function this time to the close issue transition. Create a new 
script. Call it assign back. Now this one's going to be a little bit more challenging because all we know right now is who the testers are based on the project role that we created. So now we have to figure out who the issue was assigned to. So we can do that by looking at the history of a field. And we do that with a function called called field history of all things. So first we need to pass it the ticket or the issue and we're going to do that just with this key variable because it's in a workflow it's already in the context of a specific issue and then we need to pass it the field that we want the history for now when you use the history field what you actually end up getting is an array of two values the first um, spot in the array is actually the the date and the time that the change was made and the second is the value of the change so we would want the second spot in the array to get the previous assignee of an issue however there's also no guarantee that the issue was created with an assignee or original assignee so we need to just check to make sure that we're grabbing an actual assignee as part of the script. So we're also going to say string A will be our new assignee. And then we're just going to check if or we'll say is not null. H1. What does that mean? That means I want the second spot in the array, and it's one because array start at zero. So zero would have been the date time. One is now the second spot. So if it's not null, meaning it has an assignee, take us back to that original person by saying assignee equals, or we'll say A equals h1 else if it is null go to the next assignment which is not going to be as hopefully a developer which will be the third spot in the array or fourth really um, but it will be index 3 so h3 And then we can just say assignee equals A. Check our script, looks good. All right, let's test it. So I'm going to start out with an original signee of service user, which is a service account, which means no emails will be sent to anybody. So, okay. So if we hit start progress, it should assign itself to me because I'm in that tester project role and it has. Now if I hit close issue, it should go back to service issue because it's reading that field history.
some leftover <laughs> leftover code um, from another video. Excuse me. All right, let's try that again. Now that I've removed that validator and the original signee is back to service user. Now this is just one way of doing it. Uh, another way we could have used the custom field instead of searching the field history. And another thing we could have done that would have made this code a little bit more reliable is double checking that the you, the uh, user we picked out of the history was in the developer project role. But I hope hopefully this demonstrates the ability of what you can do with C prime in, in creating a custom workflow to do those types of automatic assignments. So thank you very much for watching.